So here's a quick tutorial on Maya 2022, how to use optics to clean things up. It's now a filter that you add on. Let's go up here and into uh, poly modeling, build a, a cube, and then press R to scale. Left click and drag to make a slightly bigger cube. And now let's create a floor, All right? Can't see it, I just did it. So press the number four, and now we're in wireframe view. Then just pull right, Use your mouse wheel to scroll up, pull right, pull right again. And we should be able to, if we press five, see our, our box and our floor. So click on the box, press W to translate it and move it up until the green lines barely hit the floor. You can use snaps, but for now, this is fine. Uh, I left this in from the last example. All right. So now we have this and there's no lights, nothing going on. Okay, so in Arnold, we're going to render it. But for right now, let's do a light, just a mesh light. It'll complain and say, wait a second, there's no object, no transform. So let's just make a sphere, press four again, move this over and you can see the sphere is there. I can play around with this in color mode. So here we go. And let's move it over just a little bit translate a little bit off of center so that way it'll give a nice shadow in a kind of like a northwest if you would direction over a uh, let's take a let's go to arnold and go to lights and create a mesh light now since i selected that it's now a mesh light it's quote invisible now let's go over here to renderer and choose arnold now it'll take a second it's not instantaneous this is a pretty fast system. Okay, as you can see, now it's rendering black. Nothing's going on. Because over here, there's no exposure value. So let's take off normalization. And you can see there's a little bit of light, which is impossible at zero, but you get the idea. Intensity one. So it's a teeny tiny bit of light. So let's change the exposure value to a strange number. Let's call it six at first, some random number. You can see there's a shadow, it's nice and light here. Now check this out. If we now go and you can see all the little flecks or the little points of irregularities for the light. That's because of ray casting, sort of ray tracing. It's going as fast as it can, giving us an estimation. Now let's go to Arnold and let's go to render. This also takes a moment for it to prepare. Now you'll notice in the quote render area, we can see more of a finish, but you'll notice that you still see the flecks. So what we do is, like I said, in here you can add imager and then go down to optics, denoiser optics. And it gets a little bit better, but you'll notice it gets kind of funky in some areas. So without going into too much detail, which you can look up yourself, you can go to a box filter is required for better denoising results. If we click on this, all of a sudden it samples and does a box filter got now get a little bit of a bug here and there but it sure is going to work pretty good for your previews so there you go without having to go into too much detail and doing other things you can do optics by uh intel it's denoiser optics you can set some settings and change the blend and the clamps and all those things you can learn how to do that but that's it and then when you move the light there'll be a response and move the light again over here. So now, as you can see, actually that looks like it's some type of uh, um, uh, ambient occlusion map. It's not, but that's sort of what it looks like. So that's it.